technique. Sweaty Cup, Crew Joe here, Toki Athletics. Had another amazing weekend last weekend. Uh, the Carbo Cake finish. I want to thank all my fans and friends and family and students. A lot of people have been asking me about carbo kicks and how to do it, how to set it up. Obviously, as you can see, shins are a little hurt, so I'm going to let Coach Mikey show the kick. Okay, this is Coach Mikey, uh, national champ WKA. So we're going to show the carbo kick now. I'll have him show it on the bag. Okay. We're going to face the opposite way. And first things first, we want to make sure when we do the carbo kick, he has his, land, his hand landing outside of the bag just like you would for your, your regular right body kick. Okay, I'm going to put my hand where the placement for my foot would be. I want to aim for about this blue line. This is what we the headline. Okay, so I'm going to go throw the kick. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, now the point of this carbo kick okay, is for Mikey to land his foot where? On the head. We want to aim for the neck jawline area. Okay, the more he can come up and down, the better. Okay, do it again for me, Mike. Beautiful. Can you face the other way for me? On the other side of the bag, please. Okay. Guys, watch his hand placement. When he goes, you aim for this corner of the mat here. It's a good plot for him to go, so you come right into the bag. Go ahead and do it again for me, please. Beautiful. All right, so when you guys are doing the carnival kick, make sure your hand placement is number one. Okay, setting it up also is really good. You gotta watch your opponent's hands. I like to throw like a fake left hook. Okay, or a stutter step to make his hands go up real high so I can go around the guard. Okay? Also, another key thing when you're holding pads, on pads for the gym or any gym, when you're throwing a Shanti kick, make sure safety's first for your pad holder. Okay? A lot of people get hit, get hurt. Okay? We want to be safe, first and foremost, because if you can't hold pads, you can't fight. Okay, so what I want to do is, in a lunge position, okay, lead hands going to be right about my forehead, pad facing up, the other hands going to be right on top, making this L shape, just like you would for a teep without a belly pad. Okay, so when Mikey goes and throws his kick, go ahead, Mike, he comes down on the pad. This bottom one is really for safety, the top one is where he's landing. Okay, do it again for me, sir. Good, let's face the other way. Okay, let's set up, let's go jab cross hook this time. Go. As notice, he's landing back on his feet. That's number two thing you got to do when you throw this kick. If you don't land on your feet, the rest got to stop the fight. Got to wait for hands off. Then we give your opponent a break. Okay. Remember to like, subscribe, comment. If you want to see more videos, okay. You can always come see us at 407 Lane 10 and Drive in Hocast and Delaware. Give us a call 302-602-6215. We'll make all your Muay Thai dreams come true. Coach Mike, you think, sir? Cop and cop, guys. Have a great day.